Hi, I will show you how to watch YouTube on Apple CarPlay in your infotainment display. So you don't need any device and do anything. You can sign in uh, and watch your playlist as well. So uh, this is great. So watch this video until the end. And I will show you step-by-step -step instructions on how you can watch from your phone to here to your Apple CarPlay without any device. So make sure when you use this, uh, your car is parked and not moving and uh, you do it safely. And for example, if I go to, you know, my my channel so don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you find this video helpful and we're gonna play one of this just hit play and here you go so it's playing right here uh, i'm gonna put the volume so this is the volume from the this is volume directly on the speaker on the car and you can browse you know more right here on the bottom and so after you plug in and you can you know you can make it bigger right here by tapping here so full screen go you know thumb through right here and it's gonna play just as normal but uh you know it's on bigger screen in size and now let's go to play another video like this one so just tap once on the video to show the slider so you can move forward uh, through the video right here at different times and uh, like this just thumb through it's gonna show a preview on the bottom as well just like on the mobile phone to go back to youtube just tap on youtube icon on top right here and you can go through different video you can also watch shorts right here by tapping on the short so tap on this it's going to show like the short in your mobile phone and you can just slide up to go through another short and watch it just play like this and so slide up or down to go to the next or previous short watch youtube on your apple carplay first you need to go to your safari browser so just go here open it and you want to go to google.com so you type google.com in here so google and just hit google right here and so once you're on here you want to search for troll store t or right so it pops up the suggestion on the top just tap on that and you want to find the one that is on github so just tap on that so depending your internet so it's gonna open this and scroll down you want this web page right here you want to scroll down and you want to find out what is uh, your version right here iOS version on your iPhone so this iPhone is an iPhone 6s so it has a a9 processor so this one is ARM uh, a8 to a11 so you want to check Right here that is your version and your processor this is uh the newer uh version of your of iphones so a12 to a15 so uh, i'm gonna go to check your version of your device right here on the left table right here you want to go to home and you want to go to settings and once you go to settings just scroll down to general right here just tap general you want to go to about right here and right here software software version is 15.0 so iphone 6s so this one is a9 processor you can look it up on google as well uh, software version 15.0 so we're gonna go back to right here the website that we had earlier the troll store and what you want to do is right here this is this is mine 15.0 and a processor is a9 so i'm gonna tap on this link so depending on yours you tapped the link that corresponds to your iphone version and processor so once you're on the troll store here you want to scroll down to the guide under the guide section right here and on here there's a link it says on your device go to the following link just tap on that so just tap on that and it's going to ask you to install uh, so just hit install on this this is safe oh and just go to your home hit the home button it uh, says waiting so just wait until it finish downloading and install on your iphone all right so now it finished installing it's going to be called gta car tracker so after you install troll store it's going to show up as a new app as gta car tracker and you want to tap on that and it's going to open uh, this page right here and uh, troll store helper so you want to hit install troll store because right now it says troll store not installed so you want to hit install 
and it says installing throttle just wait a little bit right it's gonna show a screen like this so just don't worry and just re-log in so now after you log back into your iPhone uh, it's gonna show another app right here that shows up on your screen is called troll store so uh, troll store is right here you want to tap on that troll store it's gonna say installing IDID right so once it's done installing the IDID it's gonna give you uh, two menus at the bottom right here apps and settings and you want to go to settings uh, so it says IDID installed if it wasn't installed you want to go to settings right here and hit install right here so right now IDD is installed and allows troll store to install and signed okay so uh, this is installed if it's not just just tap on this and just wait for it to install we're going to go and download right here just go back to safari and we're going to go to github as well so just go to a uh, new page and just go to google.com right here and you want to hit uh, this you want to type on this you want to type car tube like this and you want to you know specify that you want it from github because the the safe one is on github and it's called uh, right here evangelista car tube you want to hit on that and it's gonna open this page on github for car tube and now you wanna scroll down scroll down more right here you can read this as well you, you wanna scroll down and it says release right here so there's a couple of release you wanna hit the latest one this is the latest uh, it says is uh, 1.3 release on January 23rd so you wanna tap on that just tap on that and it's gonna open another page right here uh, car tube 1.3 and you can see like what is uh, the fix on the latest version and search scroll under assets scroll down on the assets and you want to find the file name uh, ending in .ipa so .ipa that's what the one that's the file you want to tap on it to download just tap on that cartube.ipa it's going to ask you to download so you want to download just hit download right here and as you can see there's an arrow right here next to AA right here and uh, that is downloading so once it's done downloading it's gonna turn blue right here just just tap on that all right so once you tap on that just hit download we're gonna go to download it's gonna show all the files that you downloaded and cartube that's the last file just tap on that and once you tap on that it's gonna show you this page and once you show you this page you want to tap on the arrow right here on the top the square with the arrow pointing up just tap on that and once you're on here you want to open with a uh, troll store so it's going to open a menu right here and you want to tap on troll store it's going to open with troll store and it's going to pop out dialog like this so car tube metadata sandboxing etc and you want to hit install right here on the right side it's gonna say installing and now you go back to home and it should show car tube right here so car tube is installed so congratulations if you made this far and uh, it should be able to uh, you should be able to see it on your carplay so whenever you have carplay on any car you just uh, plug to have carplay or wireless carplay will work as well so just scroll right here to the right and right here though that's car tube right here and make sure you have internet connected to your phone and i'm going to show you so right now you're going to be able to watch youtube directly on your apple carplay uh you know the carplay display the car display and you want to tap on that car tube so congratulations you can open youtube now on your car display and you can scroll down right here you can watch shorts as a trial like just as normal and i'm going to show you uh mine right here just just tap you know uh, you can search so there's a keyboard which is great 
and uh, just hit search right here here you go don't forget to subscribe if you find this video helpful just hit subscribe right you can also sign in with this so you can sign in as well to watch uh, your favorite shows like your playlist etc so you can sign in like here you can type anything you want right here uh, I mean like your email and so on so uh, you can sign in as well I show you so all right uh, if you actually uh, cannot go back to YouTube right here what you want to do is you can get your phone you launch the car tube app right here and you just uh, you know double tap on the home button and then kill it by you know swiping up and it's gonna restart car tube so just hit car tube again and you'll be able to go back you know to YouTube the regular YouTube so I just show you guys right here uh, I'm gonna go to my channel so don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you find it helpful uh, and we're gonna go to play a video right here so let's play a video right here and here you go so it's playing right here uh, I'm gonna put the volume so this is the volume from the this is the volume directly on the speaker on the car and you can browse you know more right here on the bottom and you can also see comments and so on just like a regular uh, YouTube app you know people posting right here on uh, the video and you can go back to YouTube right here by tapping YouTube you can watch anything right here right cars and so on you can go to explore just as normal yeah explore there's a lot of them you can go shorts as well shorts you can go more right here it's gonna play you know just like that so surprisingly it doesn't have ads uh, right now on here because i enable the option to disable ads that's how you disable ads right here on car tube so you go to your car tube app you go to settings right here and then uh, you block ads right here beta so you can block ads in video if you experience issues with playback try disabling this option so this is nice uh, you can choose the zoom level so uh, for the YouTube UI so you can press it you know you go down uh, to make it smaller so it's not like, gonna be like super big and for you uh, to navigate easily and hit save settings after you're done and it's gonna restart YouTube right here and uh, yeah just restart it and it's gonna save the new settings on there so just hit settings right here uh, sponsor block as well so you can block sponsored segment in videos as well so you can do this uh, you can also age restriction bypass uh, and also you can do a screen persistence helper car tube requires the phone screen to be on at all times the screen persistence helper will help the phone screen uh, will keep this phone screen on even on a lock screen so uh, this is great uh, it's gonna keep the phone screen on even on the lock screen so lock screen dimming this one option this option is recommended dim the lock screen while the app is raining so you're gonna save batteries uh, doing like this our play right here give a like so other people can find this video and YouTube can recommend this video to other people as well subscribe to my channel uh, right here hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already that's gonna help me a bunch uh, for making this video and other videos for you guys uh, so thank you guys for your support uh, i hope you have a great day